Do you know how to increase your good karma? This video is extremely essential for you. It's like going to be super valuable to you. If you are going through a lot of bad karma, if you are going through a patch of bad karma since a few years, maybe since more than a decade and you are just stuck in that position, you just don't know how to come out of it. So this video is going to be helpful to you if you have been through a bad karmic patch for over a duration of time. So yes, so how do you have to watch this video? In order to watch this video, there are certain instructions I have to give to you. Once you know them well, you will be able to get this reading like super accurate reading for yourself. Okay, that is why a few things need to be cleared first. The first thing I would like to say is in this video, there will be few things that will resonate with you. There will be few things that will not resonate with you. Whatever resonates, you have to keep it. Whatever doesn't, just leave it. Also, while watching any video like this, there are high chances that, you know, you may have additional questions after watching this video. You can directly, you know, get uh, in touch with me and we will be doing a private tarot reading for you. And yes, you know, I usually do tarot by phone or by WhatsApp, video call, even by, you know, WhatsApp chat. We can do a reading if you are not available to talk. That's totally perfect. Uh, next thing is after watching a video like this, many people get inspired. Many people want to learn tarot. If you are also uh, somebody like that, you could you would want to join my programs. Then the links for my upcoming program or the wait list will be given below this video. Try to join that. So whenever any program is coming up, you will be emailed directly. Now, you know, uh, based on how accurately you select the option, that is how much accurate your reading is going to be. So in order to know what the, uh, yes, how to select the options accurately, you, you first need to know what the options are. Okay, so the first option we have is this evil eye bracelet. Okay, you can see it's like a simple bracelet. So that is the evil eye bracelet we have. That's the first option. The second option we have is this quartz crystal. Now you may question that what is the context behind choosing these as options. Okay. See all of these are somewhere or the other. You use them during uh, when you are going through a negative period. When you are having a bad time. So these are the things that help you to help you to shield your energies. They help you to shield you positively. So that you don't have that bad, uh, bad energy effect okay so usually when do you have a bad energy effect is when you are going through a bad karmic time okay so yes so this is what you know it actually brings good vibes and it inspires you to do good karma okay so this is quartz crystal it actually shields you from all negative energies and helps you to yes do positive karma the next we have is uh, hanuman chalisa okay hanuman chalisa is a very popular thing and it's, it's a very popular uh, thing and uh, people who are strong believers they believe that if you read hanuman chalisa twice in a day during sunrise and sunset uh, that can uh, there cannot be any any negative energy any negative entity that could enter your life okay so yes the next option that is hanuman chalisa and the final option we have you have seen me wearing this most of the time in my videos if you watch my videos regularly yes the other bracelet is here so that is one of the bracelet i just put it uh, for the option because yes rudraksh also is something that shields you from uh, negative energies and it actually makes you very very pure inside it makes you it inspires you to be pure okay so yes so these are the four options now you know in just a little moment i will be placing a uh, a clip okay a photograph of this uh, of all of these options and that photograph will be visible only for a few seconds so make sure whenever that photograph appears, you just have to pause the video. Yes, I'll be telling you when that uh, photograph appears. You just have to pause the video and start focusing on all the options. How do you have to focus? So start focusing on each of the options, you know, as soon as the photograph appears, pause the video. Yes, try to watch each of the option. Try to gaze on each of the option. Give good amount of time, like give two to three minutes on each of the option and yes you once you pause the video you can take as much time as possible in gazing on these options once you are done you have to close your eyes and meditate and try to see which of these options is grabbing your attention which option is flashing to you which option is attracting you 
okay and then select that option and based on the timestamps given below watch the video of your option okay so yeah so that is it how you have to select the options so all the options for you the picture of all the options of uh, for this video is given here Okay, so just in case if you selected this evil eye bracelet, okay, then let's see what are the uh, different ways you can increase your good karma. How can you increase your positive karma? Okay, so the first thing how you can increase your positive karma is yes, by cultivating patience. So yes, you may say, okay, but what, why patience, you know, why do I actually, why it is that simple? See, it is not simple, it is like... It may feel complicated, right? Because in every moment that uh, where you are getting impatient, you are getting irritated, you are getting, you are getting, uh, yes, uh, something where you are not able to tolerate what's happening in that situation. The first thing, you know, is patience. Patience is actually going to help you to do better karma, okay? So this is going to help you to do um, how to increase your good karma. What is happening that whenever things are happening where your tolerance is getting in the way you know you are getting irritated you are getting agitated and in response to that you are doing bad karma okay whenever you get irritated whenever you get impatient you are not doing good karma which is increasing your bad karma okay so what you have to do you have to increase your patience you have to increase the uh, uh, yes you have to be more and more peaceful and calm okay that is first thing the second thing is how to increase good karma. Good karma is also, you can increase your good karma also by working, okay? Working karma, what is karma? Karma is work, right? Karma is doing something. So, you need to keep on doing something or the other. So, it could be that because of, you know, you are very much stagnant and you are very much are not doing something because maybe you are waiting for something to happen you are waiting for some work to come this card says that you just have to keep working so even if you are let's say it's in context with your job even if you have if you don't have a job try to work try to freelance try to become a self uh, self employed professional try to just be uh, try to just start working from the moment right now okay yes you know your purpose is in uh, your purpose is where you know you have to keep on working and the more you become stagnant the more you become stable and uh, yeah and uh, not working that is where more you will have bad experiences the more bad karma you will go through okay yes you know universe will actually throw some energies on you that will make you feel uh, yes more uh, more suffering and more troubles are coming your way when you are not working so now you may say okay but you don't have a job you have applied for jobs but nothing is nothing is working out see no matter even if things are not working out you are supposed to keep or uh, keep on doing things that you can possibly do okay like professionalism like you know you can become self-employed you can do freelancing whatever way possible it is you can be you can do work that is contract based okay but yes you need to keep working okay and uh, yes you know once you keep working you are going to be showered by a lot of money believe me it's going to be a lot of money but yes you have to start working you know a lot of people yeah nowadays you know it's just this craze that you should have a lot of money nobody wants to work okay so but yes you have to work and if you work you are going to get a lot of money okay so yes so that is there and how to increase good karma is also one one way is where you you save your money you invest your money okay that also is going to become a blessing for the future okay so yeah so that is it for this video i hope that this video helped you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with as many people as you can uh let me know in the comments how did this video help you and yeah uh, do, uh, we'll see you again in the next video until then bye bye okay so just in case if you selected this quartz crystal then let's see how exactly you can increase your good karma you can increase your good karma by first 
taking responsibility becoming a responsible person and taking the responsibility let's say of your household or maybe the responsibility uh, responsibility of your office work and see if you are in your office you may say okay but i am not at the manager's post why do i take the responsibility see sometimes you have to work and rewards will come years and years later okay so you don't have to say that i will not work uh i will not take extra responsibility because i am not being paid enough okay you, you exactly uh, you won't be paid enough instantly okay but yes that extra money that extra bonus is definitely going to flow in uh and this is going to be yes another good thing about good karma is you need to start donating donating money is also going to be a good thing for you it's going to bring good karma into your life next thing is keep your chakra balanced your five ch your seven chakras you have to try to keep your seven chakras balanced and once you keep them balanced it's actually going to bring good karma you may say how is that going to help you yes see a lot of times you know when there is some problem with your chakra some energy blockages then also you keep on suffering in a certain way when you keep your chakras clear when you keep your chakra very nice and clean that is where you know you will be attracting a lot of good karma in your life a lot of good energy in your life uh yes the more you the more you uh, surrender to your fears the more you are going to get bad experiences okay yes the, because this card is here it is very damn sure that you are where you have certain fears and certain fears just take over you and so yes the card says whenever fears take over you have to face your fears and go beyond that um, like you know success lies one step ahead from your fears okay that famous quote we have so yes so that is what is uh, this card is saying what this option is saying i hope that this video made sense with you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with all the people who would like to do good karma and increase the positivity in their life let me know in the comments how does this video help you okay how did this video help you to do try to share this video with as many people as you can i will see you again in my next video do stay subscribed to my channel until then bye bye Okay, so now just in case if you selected this Hanuman Chalisa, let's see what exactly. Is the good karma that you have brought that you you will get to in your life? How to how you will be able to increase the good karma in your life if you have selected this option? Okay, so how you have sel how to increase the good karma? The first thing is letting go. Okay see a lot of times yes you know bad has happened with a lot of people a lot of people has gone have gone through very very dark times and yes life has been difficult to everybody in some way or the other so that's not the question that's not the problem the problem is most of the people they just hold on to all that drama hold on to all that trauma and they just feel very resentful the first card says how to increase your good karma you need to release all of that resentment you need to release all of that sorrow and all of that stress okay once you release that i think your life is pretty good okay see this card it's like your life is totally set it is you who is not releasing the darkness that you have gone through okay sometimes yes you know this is a famous quote that i had made uh in life you know suffering does not stop on its own you have to stop suffering okay so yeah so that is it that you have to do which is coming from this card this card says that um yeah you know this card says if if there is somebody who needs the who needs monetary help you can actually help them that also is going to increase your good karma it may or may not be uh, necessary that you take it back sometimes you can just lend money to people and when they are in need and they can return it back to you when they are not in need right so even if you do that that also is going to increase your good karma uh, uh the next uh, we have is okay what you have to do try to meditate try to go deeper into meditation and ask your ask your god whichever god you believe in ask your god to send you a symbol 
that symbol is going to help you to uh, go through all the problems of your life remove all the negativity from your life and increase good karma okay so you may say okay how do i meditate okay there are a few meditations i have already given on my channel you can go ahead and yes you know stay subscribed to my channel uh, you can bookmark my, those videos so that you can get to you can get to them directly okay so you need to meditate until you get a symbol and that symbol is you know which which you can actually get a tattoo of or you can actually uh, wear it okay you can get it made into a yeah made it into a pendant or a bracelet and then you can wear it as a talisman so that also is going to help you to increase your good karma yes you need shielding from negative energy okay how you have to do shielding that also is discussed in one of my videos you can actually go and check uh, check that out once you are done with this video the next thing is family creation okay to be there for your family or create a family this is the best time for family creation or reconnection so in order to increase good karma also i think once you get married or once if you are already married once you have kids you know uh, they are going to bring some good luck into your life sometimes you know till you are alone only your only your astrological horoscope is affecting you once you bring additional people into your life once you start sharing your living space with uh, people whom you consider your family the horoscopes of those people also will start affecting you so that is why you know this says that you need to create your family or you, you need to connect with your family so if you are not connected with your family start visiting your family members uh, try to reunite with them or yeah visiting them occasionally also is going to help okay so yeah so that is it for today's video i hope that this video has helped you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with all the others who would like to know how to increase their good karma now uh, let me know into the comments how does this video help you which are the things you are right away going to follow okay i just shared with you uh, a few steps i'll see you again in the next video until then bye bye okay so just in case if you selected the rudraksh bracelet then let's see what exactly are the things you can do to increase your good karma okay to increase your good karma the first thing you have to do is you have to keep yourself busy i think because when you are not busy when you are just sitting sitting idle you are increasing two kinds of karma you know your thoughts are actually totally negative you think a lot of negative stuff all the time think negative about yourself think negative about others yes thinking bad thinking negative things is also a bad karma so yes if you want to know about different types of karma just go ahead and watch other videos yes they are discussed already on the channel so try to watch those videos so yeah so yes increasing the uh trying to stay busy trying to do something or the other all the time that is going to help you to increase yes is it's going to help you to stay occupied in certain work where your mind and your uh, thoughts are going to be aligned in that direction and you will be devoid of emptiness you will be devoid of uh yeah you you won't be able to think like leisurely all stuff all sort of negative stuff okay so that is that the next we have is uh increasing good karma is where uh yes you know you have to be protective you have to be uh protective about the people you care you have to save your money yes you know maybe when you are spending your money you are not spending your money on the right things so saving your money for uh like always is going to help you to do good karma you may say okay how is that going to help see if you are going to have extra money after a few years down the path you are definitely going to help yourself your family people who need it but right now the way you are spending your money i think it's just on random things and those things you regret buying later okay so yes so that is that this card says organic and natural foods okay try to eat more and more organic and natural foods uh, avoid chemicals yes you know chemicals uh, sometimes you know when you eat them uh, anything that is not organic uh, that actually creates uh, toxins and blockages in your body which make you do bad karma you may say okay how does that happen any toxins and uh, any toxins any 
any anything that is not natural that is going to clog your system it's going to clog your uh, physical body and uh, with time it's it's not uh, the circulation the lymphatic muscles is not going to uh, yeah they are not going to be able to secrete out that toxin easily so what happens is yes it's going to all the all the toxins are going to build up what does toxin build up into it does build up into some negative energy negative energy blockages physical energy negative energy blockages all of that could happen okay so yes so that is why you stick to natural and organic foods i know you know in this uh, today's time organic foods i think they are the most expensive the next is uh, organic foods are also difficult not everything you will be able to find in the market that is organic so try to stick to as much as organic stuff as you can ready with the rest to god okay and the next is you know this uh, uh, this card says try to have a vegetarian diet a vegetarian diet is going to help you to increase your good karma okay so maybe you know the, your other karma is like where uh, you are supposed to yes stay vegetarian in order to keep your karma to the best possible level okay so yeah so that is the thing for you i hope that this video made sense with you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with everybody who are going through bad karma phases and you want to uh, make them know how they can improve yet their lives let me know into the comments how did this video resonate with you i will see you again in the next video do stay subscribe to my channel until then keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye